Hi guys, we will make a obstacle detection robo car and a edge detection robo car. For this, you need to gear DC motor, which I'm going to fit on top of a five centimeter to 10 centimeter cardboard using two L clamps and some screws and nuts. One will be in horizontal position, another will be in vertical position. First, fix the L-shaped clamp with the motor. Then, fix those L-shaped clamps on the cardboard chassis. Make sure both the shaft on a same line. Now you have to make a U-shaped clamp. Both side two holes are there and at the center one big hole is there. You need a 10 mm bead and one pin. The pin should pass through the bead easily. Take a bigger pin, pass through the center big hole, then place the bead at the center and pass the thinner pin. This will be the shaft and bend the pin both the side so that the bit cannot come out and cut the extra pins. Make sure it is freely rotating. This will be the third wheel of the robot. So pass it through a hole and lock it using a piece of rubber. Make sure it is freely moving in all directions. Now with a screw connect two wheels to the two shaft. I have used two wheels from a broken revolving chair. This is the main structure of the car is ready. Now we are going to make the circuit. We are going to make this circuit where M2 is always on because it is getting power directly from VDD. One IR LED transmitting IR when there is no object, the first transistor is off, so M1 is on, so the vehicle is moved forward. Moment an object is there, infrared will get reflected which will turn off the M1 and, and the robot will take turn. Now interchange the location of M1 and the LED. In this condition M2 is on and if a object or a floor is nearby, the infrared will get reflected back and it will make the M1 on and robot will move forward. Moment the edge got detected, there is no reflection, so M1 will be off and the robot will take anticlockwise turn. I have made this circuit on a Vero board. These are the two sensors I am going to fit in front of the car and we will power up the circuit using 3 TFLA battery. We will be using these clamps to fit the sensors. I have fitted both the sensor on a piece of plastic and connected the wires from it. Now I'm going to fit it in front of this clamp using some plastic. Now see, if I bring my hand in front, one heel is rotating, another is not. Moment I move it out, both are rotating. Now what happened if I keep it on floor? What is moving forward? Moment when I get reflected from the obstacle, it will take turn. Now, now interchange the location of the LED and the M1. Switch on the circuit and turn the direction of the sensor down. Now, if the sensor get reflected from floor, both will be rotating and move robot will be moving forward. If you get an edge, one motor will stop. Therefore, it will take a turn. See, moment it got detected an edge, there is no reflection, so it will be taking a turn. It 
it is very easy to make make your own hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching